Well, hello there. Welcome back. This is the Red Wiggler bin where we placed in that whole sweet potato about three and a half weeks ago. And the last time we checked in on that sweet potato was two weeks ago, about 15 days. And when we did that check, there pretty much wasn't much progress on it. There were some mites and some potworms, but the worms didn't really do much damage to that sweet potato after nine days. So I did give it a little bit more time this time. Seeing some snail action here. So let's see if there's so many snails. They're distracting me from talking here. So hopefully another 15 days was a good enough time to give these worms a chance to work on that sweet potato. So let's dig in and see if they've done anything with it. Hopefully, fingers crossed that we find something. And I'm already seeing a little glimpse of it here. Now they're really getting in there. You can see that the skin is just left here, so let me kind of peel it back like a banana, pretty much. And you can see that the worms are finally digging in. But even after another 15 days there's still a whole lot left of the sweet potato let me see oh this is just a worm ball look at it look at it look at it they're just going after it look at all these worms coming out of that sweet potato they're just working as a team all together they're like really deep in there I know guys, I'm going to split you up, but I want to see what's happening here. What you've been up to. And you can see that they're still in there, deep. Kind of almost, not halfway through, but maybe a fourth ways in. You'll have to come back and find the sweet potato again, sorry. I really want to see how deep they've gotten to it. Let me just peel off the skin a little bit. So they're making their way through into the sweet potato. Still don't need any more fresh food. But let's make some space to place the sweet potato back. I don't know if I want to go that deep. But I did bring in some coffee and a little bit of egg carton and some tea bags that I'll put in here. Just as some extra bedding. And I think I'm going to moisten it a little bit. It's pretty dry. But finally, after those three and a half weeks, we have some progress on the sweet potato. I think that in about another... Two weeks sweet potato will still be here but then there's going to be even more progress hopefully they get to about here hopefully sweet potato is not smelling so nice but yeah there's worms in here as well this little hole they're finding their way in that's amazing it's getting soft now especially here now I just made another access point for them <laughs> To go in there okay let's put that back and put on some grit I made a fresh batch so it's nice and fresh and we'll give them a little sprinkle maybe that will help out and assist them in breaking down that sweet potato 
And I think I'm going to spray it down a little bit. The material seems a little dry to me. Okay, let's cover it up. Now I just messed up their whole worm party. But I'm sure they'll get back to it in no time. Let's see this mango seed, if I can do anything to it. The worms are getting in there, so there should be an access point somewhere. No? Are you guys fooling me? Yeah, still hard as a rock, though. Like, for me to break it, maybe they found, like, a little hole to wiggle their way through. So we'll just let that be until it softens up for me to open it up. And let's see what we have going on in the middle. Probably not a whole lot. We're probably working on that sweet potato as a team, but there's worms here, here and there. Little baby one right here. And I'm making a mess going off the edge here. That's a common sight in a worm bin though. There's always a mess to clean up after a check-in. So we are seeing some worms scattered here throughout hiding away on us here and there. We'll break this up a little bit. You guys need to go on to the side where that sweet potato is to knock that out so I can give you guys some fresh food here. Looks like that sweet potato is going to last them like two months or so. That if I had to guess, it's probably going to last them quite a while. But who knows, now that it's really softening up for them, they might get to it pretty fast now. So we'll check back in here. Again, we'll give it a week though, at least. And then we'll just cover this back up with the paper that we had. Like so. I think I want to kind of spray this paper down. I feel like the bedding needs a little bit more moisture. I usually never spray down this paper, but when I put the plastic on, hopefully the moisture goes down into the bedding. And plus some of the water is going to run down to the bedding as well. I don't want to go too overboard, but a little bit will be fine. Won't do any harm. Now that the heater's kicked on, it's drying out all the air and all the worm bins. I think that's plenty. And the plastic covering going back on. And plus the plastic covering is not covering the whole bin, so there's definitely enough room for air to go in and escape for the worms. So that was an exciting check-in of that sweet potato. Finally, we're seeing some action happening to it. We'll check back soon. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.